Hey, this is Sam with Cycle, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to directly connect Ableton to Cycle so you can instantly visualize your production and get more engagement on your music videos. Visualizing your music is so immensely important for capturing new audiences and keeping your viewers' attention. Let's get started with curating our awe-inspiring visuals for your music. If you've never used Cycle before, make sure you create a free account at Cycle.com to get started. Cycle allows you to use fully automated audio responsive visuals with one click of a button. You don't have to download any software to get started as Cycle is web-based. Once you are logged in, you will be greeted with the main visualization screen. On the left menu, you will find all of the visualizer controls. Accessing your settings, full screen mode, hotkeys glossary, and other important links will be found in the top right menu. Let's familiarize ourselves with all of Cycle's settings and options. Cycle is the world's easiest audio visualization software that still comes packaged with amazing features that give you absolute control over the quality of your visuals. From creating curated visual playlists to focusing the visual's responsiveness on a specific frequency range, Cycle can be tailored to deliver the exact experience you want your viewers to watch. To get started, take a look at the top right of the main screen. When you click on the Settings button at the top right, you will see a list of menus that allow you to customize your audio visuals. First is your Playlist tab. This is where you can create playlists and choose visuals from a wide selection of amazing presets. You would name your playlist here and then click on Create Playlist to get started. Don't stress about naming your playlist though, as you can always come back and rename playlists you've already created. Next, head over to the Available Visuals tab. Here, you can preview any visual by hovering your mouse over it and speaking into your computer's microphone. As you preview the visuals, you will be able to see their standard behavior. Once you decide you want to include a visual in your playlist, simply click on the preview image and add it to the playlist. You can add as many visuals as you'd like to use. Lastly, in the Selected Visuals tab, you can preview your playlist, reorder the loading sequence by dragging and dropping the visuals, and remove any visual by clicking the small X at the top right of each preset. Next are your watermark settings. This is where you can upload up to nine different watermarks or logos. For example, if you're doing a set with nine different DJs, you'll be able to upload all of their logos here. And once we get the visual feed going, you can swap between each logo without stopping the visualizer. You can adjust the size and position of each watermark to ensure they load exactly how you want. Don't forget to save your watermark settings. Now, let's go over the Frequency Reactiveness tab. Here, you can set an EQ to tell Cycle which frequencies to respond to. For example, if you only want the visualizer to respond to the high frequencies, you can set that here. You can upload an MP3 to preview how the EQ is going to respond to your audio in real time. You can create and save multiple frequency reactiveness presets that can be easily loaded as you are switching between songs, genres, etc. Finally, you have your visualizer behavior settings. Here you can set the frame rate, duration, and transition times of your visual feeds. While the visual frame rate can be set up to 244 frames per second, the performance will be limited by the hardware you are running Cycle on. The duration setting controls how long each visual will be displayed on screen before the engine automatically moves to the next visual in the playlist or queue. The transition setting controls how long the blend effect will persist when the visuals are automatically changed within the milk drop feed. Again, don't forget to save your settings. Now let's take a look at the visualization control menu. Here you will first have to choose which visual feed you would like to use. At this time, Cycle offers two options, 3JS and Milk Drop. 3JS includes new and innovative visuals created by our community of visual creators. While Milk Drop cycles through tens of thousands of trippy visuals. In both visual feeds, you can select your desktop audio, mic audio, or any virtual cables you have installed. Your visual playlist will be available when you select the 3JS feed. Let's go over how to set up Ableton to send audio into Cycle. In Ableton, select Options on the top left toolbar. Then head down to your Preferences. Make sure you are in the Audio section of your Preferences menu. Under your Driver Type for Windows, Make sure you have your normal desktop audio selected, not ACO. 
In my case, this is going to be NME slash DirectX. For your audio output device, make sure you have Realtek Audio selected. Then in Cycle, your Realtek desktop audio can be selected. Another way to get Ableton's audio into Cycle is with a virtual audio cable. They are free and easy to install. If you have a virtual audio cable installed, choose Virtual Audio Cable Input or Line 1 under Audio Output Device. Then in Cycle, you will be able to choose Virtual Audio Cable Output or Line 1, and now Cycle is connected to Ableton. For Mac OS, we want to make sure we have Loopback installed. This program allows you to route audio from Ableton to Cycle. Once you have Loopback installed, create a new audio device. Now, all you have to do is select Loopback Audio in Cycle's Audio Input Selection. Once you have your audio input selected in Cycle, you can also choose any audio presets you've created in the Visualizer Reactiveness tab. If you are using 3JS, you can also choose which playlist of presets you would like to use. Now we are ready to visualize our audio. Simply hit Start Visualizer to instantly get mesmerizing visuals. Once you have your visualizer going, you have access to a bunch of hotkeys so you can customize your visual experience without having to stop the visualizer. A list of the hotkeys is shown at the top right of the main screen. Enter will lock the current visual in place. Space will cycle to the next visual. Backspace will cycle to the previous visual. H will hide the toolbar at the top. L will toggle your watermarks on or off and 0 through 9 is how you cycle through all your uploaded watermarks. As a free user, you can enjoy all of Cycle's features without even having to enter your credit card details. This gives you absolute control to set up Cycle exactly how you want to use it and make sure our solution is right for you. Once you are ready to record or stream your visualized music, all you have to do is click on Start Visualizer to get it to work. If you plan on using Cycle frequently, I highly recommend looking at our subscription plans as those provide the best value. Once subscribed, the Cycle watermark will disappear. The ability to activate your own watermark logos will be enabled. Subscriptions renew monthly or annually. Depending on the cadence you choose and are commitment free, you can cancel your subscription at any time. And that's it. Now you know how to add mesmerizing audio visuals to your music so that the music you share is more engaging, captivating, mesmerizing, and memorable.